Trail is now one step closer to being completed. Happening right now, city officials are cutting the ribbon, opening up the next piece of the trail in the Oakley Hyde Park area. And WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Ottilie joins us live there now. A lot of people excited about this, Madeline. A lot of people indeed. You can see how many people here behind me with their bikes ready to walk. They're excited to see that part of this trail is now opening up. Now we just heard from Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley. He says the goal of Wasson Way is just to bring diverse communities in the Cincinnati area together. This phase that just opened officially this evening runs here near Marburg Avenue in the Hyde Park area and it will ultimately go through Alt Park. I talked to some business owners alongside this trail in parts that have already been open. They say they're seeing a big impact when it comes to how this trail is driving in new traffic. I've encountered a lot of people that have um, never even heard of our business, but because they walk or run on the trail, they, they drive by us all the time. Local coffee shop Hyde Perk has seen business boom. Supervisor Young Harwell says it all happened when the Wasson Way Trail, just outside the store's parking lot, opened last year. We really felt the surge back in August of last year. A surge just months after the COVID-19 pandemic first hit. Couldn't have come at a better time. Um, obviously, every business experienced hardship in the very beginning. Across the street at Buskin Bakery, it's a similar story. What we've seen more of is um, even people out of town. People who are staying over in Rookwood at some of the newer hotels are then getting out, doing a walk, enjoying this area. This is the trail and this right next door is the backside of Buskin Bakery. It's part of the reason the store opened up this new pop up window to grab those customers as they walk on by. What we have found is that it's growing. Um, we knew when we um, developed the back side of this building that it was going to be um, a commitment for the years to come. We're starting to see trail oriented development pop up around this corridor. What we're going to see happen in the next five to 10 years is more and more businesses making their back door the front door uh, where they're oriented towards the trail. Wade Johnston is the director of Tri-State Trails, an organization that partnered with the city to secure a $6 million federal grant for Wasson Way. Right now, the trail runs from Hyde Park to the edge of the Xavier University campus. What I think is so powerful about the trail is how we're connecting communities that have historically been disconnected. When complete, the Wasson Way Trail will be over six miles. It will join a 34 mile trail loop that will connect it to the Little Miami Scenic Trail, the Ohio River Trail and more. I think there's potential for every single community. Um, what's been so great about the trail is I know that it, not that it can, that it will have impact on every community that it, that it touches. Ultimately, Wasson Way is going to extend into Avondale. The whole project is expected to be complete by spring of 2024. Reporting live in the Wasson Way Trail, Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.